after boiling, after boiling eddies of perfect chance in tides of primeval slime, lifted sex and death to modest beginnings. Who could have known how that would end? That same sex and death, triumphant, propelled a rush of species to inhabit every potential form in every possible way. A tiny bit of the universe was formed by the extravagance of chance into Euclidean space, so it became suitable for reality. Most of reality has since been filled with broken parts. Breakage and time are very nearly the same thing. The librarian catalogues the lost and reserves space for the archive. Projections fill that space with shadows. The dead live again. Why divide the dead from the living, you ask? The associations are deeply moving. An archaeologist knows that history is the logic of recoverable evidence. All that can be known about human beings are the parts of culture that were washed into a hole, buried. In deep water I hear distant voices, faint, washed down bleak corridors, shaded windows, into the vacant offices of concrete buildings, onto the streets of lost cities, abandoned countries. Useless doorways where no one passes open onto streets where no one goes. Before sex in death. Indivisible but portrayed as spirit and clay, bred from pride and sin, a world of gods. Such is the power of slime. Chance returning to itself was mind, auto-aware and endearing, part to part acting and acted upon, being two but not divisible. In the double shadow of words, Absence is the hiding place of sense. Elusive sense can be uncovered on the premises of what was once called business. All that we know about human beings is written by employees. Wars and revolutions were fought in the streets in this city of Munich. Stenographic records survived the depredations of civil war, devastation of world war, and the indignities of a century of avant-garde art. Such deviation was transcribed by professional stenographers.
to observe this bloody time so miscreated as to be non-Euclidean and it's senseless in hospitality. We will get closer to the civil war. Gently in mind, surging and desisting, unsutured but never apart, foreign to absence, neither one nor two, together like rainbows in air. Elsewhere, cause grew strong with wondrous new effects, such as things and the language caused by things. Associating things, uniting with sound, conjugating in primal darkness became clusters of coincidences seeking purpose by inventing names. Names wove patterns that with repetition hardened into words. The stenographers left the safety of the business correspondence traveled so swiftly, they arrived on the hostile streets. Deal. What misery for us. With traitors betraying themselves, whoever survives and climbs from the pit is exposed and impaled on the hook. White sausages were depleted and sweet desserts spoiled, while everywhere white goods soiled by revolt or reaction. Did they? Who waged these brutal civil wars for love or opportunity, regret and repent, deplore or lament their ruin of once happy Munich? Were the enemies unclothed by mutual outrage? The street fighting ended.
buried here are the dribbling remnants of records of the detention and trial of the Munich revolutionaries. Truth and justice were useless until ordered by a court and served as payment to the police. All that we can know about human beings was detained by a policeman. Where are the angry men? Street fighters and thugs who bloodied these cobblestones and festooned the masts of many lampposts with pendant corpses of rivals. This city, tranquil, costumed in early evening, yesterday blistered with hatred. Today, bombed with law and authority, the city rests and forgets again. The city rested. The stenographers observed a Munich forgetful revolution. In the loneliness of creation, words sought the friendship of mind and composed a message that would open mind to the joys of cause and effect. Cause can only act on things unfinished, so words invented sentences. The incomplete sentence is the first fissure in the material of time. Heavy foundations supported mighty walls. Batterers, embrasures, and towers of border defenses, garrisons, and strongholds enforced the separation of national fashions. Stone battlements rose and fissured silhouette against clouds fluffed and light as clean laundry. Gray crenellations like carnivorous fruit bit with broken teeth, the red and white sausage sky. silhouettes against clouds fluffed and light as cleaned laundry. Gray crenellations like carnivorous strudel bit with broken teeth. The red and white sausage sky. Immense fortresses guarded the homeland from the dishonor of invasion. Defilement by foreign cuisine Disharmonious costume and alien diphthongs were arrested before the walls, turned away. This fortress. Once impregnable in war is obsolete, and now a prison, where civil conflict, homegrown dishonor, is contained rather than expelled. Are the inmates merely those politicians judged to be criminal error, but not dishonorable? Murder and plunder are honorable, for you are fighting.
Nothing unfinished had heretofore been introduced into mind. Nothing in mind had been troubled by the fear of opposition. Incomplete sentences gaining potency and curiosity and, and fear intruded violently into the folds of an open and unwary mind. Invaded and compelled to share a desire, desire and design that was not its own. Penetrated mind came to know an absence, lack, and longing for the first time. Underneath the battlements of the fortress prison were kitchens and laundry. Ovens, griddles, and soapy kettles of mighty capacity were fired to prepare meals, desserts, and cleanliness for the inmates. Mindful of the danger, and heartened by duty, the stenographers entered into the, the kitchen and laundry. Among the pans, paddles, cakes, ladles, cooks, ringers, whisks, scrubboards, and laundresses, stern jailers sampled strudel, sniffed white goods, and savored hot sausage. Are many unfortunate men and women here fed, sweetened, and cleaned? Fall into our care is the leadership of lost causes galore, of heroic, inspired, brilliant, bright, burning, but bungled revolution. Stenographers noted the words lost, heroic, Inspired, brilliant, bright burning, bungled. We should have noted the words lost, heroic, inspired, brilliant, bright burning. Bungle. Jailers, do not turn the key of one lock, ice a strudel, boil a sausage, nor send a basket of fresh starched costume, dry and folded from the laundry, without telling how in one great city did bold advocates of justice, fierce and righteous, renounce their freedom and wage war on joy and conscience. Stenographers asked if the interned heroes had gained nothing but meals of white sausage at public expense. Have the interned heroes gained nothing but meals of white sausage, occasional pastries, and the dull costume of the political prisoner? Those eating sausage at public expense and enduring the dullness of costume were variously and constantly at war with the past or the future. They are judged guilty of irrelevance and punished with indifference. National spirit is boiled from their sausages and costumes bleached of symbolism. The stenographers ascended to prison apartments above. Passage through the massive doors, but comparably 
massive jailers. Allowing us passage through the massive doors are comparably massive jailers. Tell us, jailers. Take not a single bribe, extort nor violate one more inmate before revealing how the self-righteous have fared in inglorious defeat. Have leaders of causes, thought infallible, gained conscience by experience? Might poison of joy with filth from the grave dampen fires of revolution? Burning less brightly here, our Herr Hauptmaler, former minister of mystery, and his mortal enemy, Frau Spieler, once commissar of just performance. Truths of revolution are proclaimed in the language of corpses hanging, as the stenographers had written. Words became reality. Pressed on sense and bound to time with memory. What wasn't reality was the rest of the world and beyond cause and effect. Time is the substance of imprisonment. Herr Hauptmaler's time passed in bright spaces under north lights where he practiced the art of painting as a rehearsal for the art of political action. Both paint and man being fluid and easily shaped. Here, Herr Hauptmaler practices the art of painting as a rehearsal for the art of political action. Both paint and men are fluid and easily shaped. Monarchist students, egoist graduates of circular reason, soar above the storm. In our universities, we debate the causes of hunger, disease, and despair. We find no social ill that cannot be cured with more respect for private property. Civilian militarists, amateur soldiers, gentlemen of reaction, hypnotizers of hypnotists, strumpets of war stand by for orders. We are the medium of Hauptmaler's art.
Herr Humptmaler is visited in his apartments by prosperous ladies who beg the jailers for permission to bathe in his bath water. Fascinated women, as models and muse, bathe their esteem in Humptmaler's bath. Simmering in awe, they steam the water with their hot enthusiasms. Hot, prickly, and damp in the company of strong and dangerous men, rich and passionate ladies of Munich deliver strudel, along with cash from our family fortunes, and remove expensive costume from privileged and shapely bodies. Winds blow, and on skittish wings, a lady's benevolence and mercy are ruffled and lifted by the lethal passions of dark men such as ourselves. All that we can know about human beings was exposed by wealthy women and debated by self-serving intellectuals. With the failure of reality to become the whole world, love was born to fill the void. With fear, forethought, affection, and remorse, the lover of words is mine. Once in love, mine's multiple caresses, my pleasure softly everywhere became hard, Local, hard, temporary, local, deranged by tears, solitude. Plain and unruffled female prisoners bathe in close quarters in cold water. Our neglected passions quieted by opaque and well-designed undergarments. Frau Spieler. Kamizar of right performance shared prison dormitories with other female artists and revolutionaries. Buried along with the stage are masks, mechanical drawings, hand tools, and the broken strings of myriad puppets. These are the strands of straw hair, bits of colorful cloth, marble eyes, leather hinges, wooden hands, and innumerable strings. This was a puppet show. Frau Spieler students made characters, costumes, props for a theater of experiment, propaganda. Modern performance was made beneficial for the laboring classes. Our fellow inmates of the women's prison study theatrical gesture as a science. We turn entertainment into education and art into political agitation. Theater is art when it contributes to social unrest. Revolutionary puppet theater channels pleasure into fear and disquiet. Punchless and without duty, they are folded into teaching methods. We are realists, conquerors of art, in the name of utility. Reality, we say, is revealed in the absence of enjoyment. Untroubled as the conscience of God, women nurture insurrection. Forsaking nature, we embrace violence and tremble in the tide of just war. 
perpetual revolution, quickened by social friction, hardens when guided by an aroused hand. Does Frau Spieler ever sleep? All that we can know about human beings rises from the conflicts between digestion and gestation. Mind adored the agent of endless hunger. In great hunger there are wheels of delight, but ecstasy on fire in airy midnight falters in the day with doubt. Is revolution art or science? Does the past contain the future? Is history to be ground repeatedly or washed, bleached, and purified once? Lighting was a contest of insult, ridicule, and boast. Words sharpened at the beginning of time cut as deeply as eternity. To you, everything is words. Agitprop theater should move real people to real action. Her revolutionary zeal undampened by the cold shower of prison, Frau Spieler returns with righteous anger to the flighting of her enemy. Writing promises to preserve words and return them in fixed order. Self-limited. To one love at a time. Mind trusts writing to make words true. Writing seduces mind with beguiling pictures. With beguiling Painted duck is not a duck. It promises fixed meaning and analysis. A written word is not a word. The spirit of revolt, reaction, reasserted itself as the commissar of right performance addressed the choreographer. Gretchen, uns senden geschickt schriftliche Beleidigung des Minister auf Mystery. Dieses Dinografen kann es, mit professionellem Sarkasmus, in das Gesicht dieser tänzenden Schausteller zu liefern. Dadurch, wird die Aufmerksamkeit ebene und Frost den Bezug seiner rutschigen Strudel und Wurst in Gorget Lieblinge. Frau Spielers Opening attacks Herr Hotmauer with ironic aesthetics. Swift in ihre Vision. Swift in your vision. Aber langsamer. But slower to fight. Um zu kämpfen. If the opponent's not your invention. Geschmückt, wie sie sind mit fantasievollen Eroberung, aber mit den tatsächlichen Krieg Adorned entlastet. Adorned as you are with fanciful conquest. Not fanciful. Fanciful conquest, but unburdened with actual war. Entlastet, wenn Wahrheit bloß Kunst wie in Schönheit If truths merely art were jailed in beauty. Paint us a pretty exit door. Wenn nicht wir, um Objekte zu fliehen. If not, we'll flee to objects. Sprechen in Tat. In actions. Und, und Worten geben die Kraft des Schmerzes. And give words the force of pain. Flee to objects, speak in actions. Give words the force of pain. Fearless and professional, guided by beguiled jailers, stenographers carry a fighting message to Herr Hotmauler. The escort has killed young professionals to Hauptmaler's studio.
stenographers address the imposing Hopmala with bold confidence. Frau Spieler says your victories are inventions and beauty is not truth. Herr Hauptmaler will receive the message with contempt and will decide that Frau Spieler doesn't understand hyperbole. He should refer this matter to his biographer. Johannes, Kompos a Provokation, so Tesele, Fischle, Nographers, Maikon, Fall, Aue, Leuting, to Frau Spieler, and Herr Dancing Ladies, ziehen des? <lacht> Aue, Starchit, Opponent, will zu'n bestehen mit, lose nit, rundit, harmonizit, and vitestef, monophonic, sect, shock, the meaning of ineffable. Behold, the meaning of ineffable. Frau Spieler's witticism with a realistic view of human nature. The purpose of lighting is to sustain and magnify insult. Seien Sie vorsichtig, Maestro. Be careful, Maestro. You say you want to restore objectivity to beauty and leave lofty visions to publicists and parasitic clerics. But the common man, you glorify, wants power and wealth, not more teaching. Justice pulls the strings. Promiscuous mind cherished elusive words, but allowed writing to push them apart. Obscured by writing, the shadows of words are illusions of other minds. Words lost to writing can't be repossessed, nor can they be disposed. Nor can they be disposed. More painful for being. Pleasure absent. Rejection is returned as reality. Stenographers made insults real, writing. Herr Hauptmaler says a man knows what he likes and it isn't theoretical. Frau Spieler puts theory into time with a profound historical prediction. Your genie is verrückt und Your genius is mad and has lost her wits. To give an offense to time. The common man aroused hears joyous voices. Joyous victor- voices. Joyous voices from a victorious future. Firm and fair of form to xenographers meet high responsibility.
Frau Spieler says Witz given offense. Schwärmerische Maßnahmen erfasst Bender und Rapturous action captures, strips and supplants all joys, customs and habits. Gemischt und in Mythos gekocht. Then blends the portions of a strong, lusty man. Mixed with new will and boiled. With a new will and boiled in myth. Incitements to enthrall gendered totality to which nothing is adequate. Writing, absolute and hallucinatory, overwhelmed and supplanted the world. Unrequited mind longed for meaning to fill the urgent and undefined void, but submitted to the authority of criticism and logic. Flighting is pure wit and insult, immune to logic and criticism. Quick as light and twice as cute, the stenographers are back. Herr Hauptmaler prefers a portion of boiled lust. Frau Spieler cools boiled lust with insight. You are lusting you, man so old ponder his will not get in front of Amira. Your lusty new man should ponder his will. Naked in front of a mirror. Which part is the myth? Which part is myth? Odd dangling fragments are painted with self hypnosis. Hypnosis. Deluded heroes stand proud, clothed in sacrifice, spun from threads. Proud, clothed in sacrifice, spun from threads of exploitation. Submission to false end and forget. Submission to false and enforced dreams. Is life chained and adamant? Realistische Männer erinnern Träume mit Widerwillen. Träume sind privat, sogar sich Realistic men remember dreams with reluctance. Dreams are private, even to themselves. Vergeht fool, poor geht. Forgetful, purged, unmixed, and awake, men build with the blocks of reality. Blocks of reality. starched shorts, and sweeter than knickers, these classy girls deliver. The lady is dangling reality. Herr Hauptmaler attacks reality with happiness. At least remember that the dream work builds with the mind's power to reify a gathering mind conceives epitome and fills living form with flesh and force. Have you no conscience? Have you no conscience? A happy vegetable roots and thrives in damp mystery. Your intellectual doctrine of plain truth is dry earth of hurt. 
despair. Words return to mind when no one's speaking, just as light shines when no one's seeing. The power and promise of dissolution is semantic, not mystical. Words stand on the shore of mind's empty ocean, longing to rejoin eternity in the dark boundless and ruined old wound. The faded and true are near. best insult and closest to the truth. Gasping, flushed with duty, hot stenographers come and go. In thrilling submission to office, they and we share a common bond. Happiness is a damp vegetable. Frau Spieler distrusts conscience. Als einer sterbenden Welt bleht und verfault, sickert Wahrheit durch Streikbrecher von As a dying world bloats and putrefies, truth oozes through scabs of Finally at rest. What stops suffering dies. Was ist überhaupt Neues nie in Ruhe? What is ever new is never at rest. What stops suffering dies. Was hält Leidenschaft? Die schöpferischen Wille nicht durch Such. Will not the search but kindles the fire under eternal kettles. Man, healthy, fresh, clothed in defiance, has nothing to fear from fire. Feuer zerstört nur, was nicht Feuer. Inflamed, in outrage, he burns with hate. Fire destroys only what is in fire. Fire destroys only what isn't fire. Fault with its roots in ancient language is not error, but metaphor. Mind, flesh, and words are a love from before time. What will never be otherwise is true. Words presence in mind, closer than touching, is perception without sensation, faithful without love, giving without pleasure, without pleasure. whisper, death to us both, whisper.
exhausted, struggling, folding like laundry. Brave girls stay true to their training. Fire burns. Crash Feeler is unimpressed. Cleared of the debris of outmoded concepts like genius or creativity, ground will not burn. Clear, pure consciousness can't be ignited by trickery nor self-interest, turned into rabble or roused into ruinous cause. Alienated from all contradiction, modern man is at war with the past. Im Krieg mit der Vergangenheit. Near starvation, unable to continue. The last insult on their trembling lips. Our delicate friends uphold duty to the end. And falling gracefully into our arms, in quiet surrender, reinvest our minds with thoughts of sausage and strudel. In our strong embrace, the gentle stenographers whisper softly a final message. Ruinous. Man is the undead, a derivative being, alive so long as it feeds on life. Unable to synthesize being from energy, it kills and devours, delays death. There is no future to fear or protect. Nothing lasts, nothing is to come. One mind, one will, one present dawn to light the tower. Never a gateway. Freedom is a cold kitchen where nothing is for lunch but imaginary sausage. Conscience is a nursery for alarmist mice. Freedom is a tickled fancy, an aroused whimsy, life lived in damp underwear. Men forge their courage into law. Law begets itself an eternity where mortal men are endlessly reborn. As joy binds lovers in absurd promises, so conscience shapes fear into choice. Useless as the anuses of angels is choice without knowledge or power. 
We hate and despise all measure. Reason is a coward's refuge. Care and thinking emboldens fools. The uncluttered mind rises triumphant. We shit on conscience. We shit on joy. We shit on freedom. All that we can know about human beings is that voices cry out. Voices cry out. The people are credulous and calm while listening, calling, dreaming, eating, seeking, shitting, painting, burning, bloating, pondering, hypnotizing, and puppeting, rotting hurtful truths are torn from history, reflected images from the mind are stamped on the world. Thank you.